68. Yep. What's up? What's up? What's up, YouTube? Welcome to episode 68 of Hippies and Pancakes. As usual, I got DJ Q Wave with me. What's going on? I got D with me. What's up? What's up? All right, so you already know. I ain't gonna lie, that niggas might hate me for this, but it's the my nigga Bill Free episode. My nigga let my dog home, you know what I'm saying? I've been advocating for my nigga on the podcast the whole time, you know what I'm saying? A couple free bills here and there. My nigga out. Now yeah. is he still a is he still a convicted uh mm. overturned it? The rapist? They overturned it. Overturned it, but you know what I think. You know what the fucked up thing about it is, because everybody was kept reporting. They like Bill Cosby home, Bill Cosby home. The joke got overturned. Is Temple gonna get my man his honorary degree back though? That's that's why I asked my girl. I was like, yeah, can I watch the Cosby show again? But this the whole kill though. This the, the you know he on his I way asked. back, right? Hey, bro, they fucked up though. He on his way back. I just feel bad about one thing, and I was thinking about this before I got in the uh, before I jumped on here with y'all. I feel bad that I really like the verse from Jay Z when he say, "How is him or Pill Cosby supposed to help me?" I still like that verse though. That yeah. little punch, I still like that shit though. I feel bad for it though, but I like that shit. Mm. But this race, I, I keep asking the same question. He offered something. Accepted it. You know what I'm from what I heard, down, uh, from what I, and Viv tried to jump down Felicia Rashad though, because you know she said a great injustice has been undone today, and Viv tried to throw her two cents in there. Surprisingly enough, Howard University ain't ain't give uh Felicia Rashad no backlash either. Yeah, they ain't give her no. Backlash. Uh, in other news, though, in other news, moving forward, we can we can tap back to that. But uh, let me find a young lady name before I say her name wrong. But baby girl, that uh, the Olympian, the runner, Shakira. Oh. Y'all know her name, Shakira. Yeah, man. They, hey, they, they gotta stop what they doing. They got you know. I don't know if y'all been paying attention to the shit that's been going on, but they don't want niggas in the Olympics this year anyway. Right. Flat out, like I mean, every year probably before this, like that can be a true statement. But this year, bro, they've done so many things to silence us, bro. It's not even real. Niggas can't wear nothing that's that's showing awareness to what's going on here in our country to black folks. Niggas can't even wear wave caps on. I mean, uh, water caps on the afro in the swim meets. When they did that, that's when I knew. I it, it wasn't it wasn't when Whoa, it wasn't mean? the Black Lives Matter thing was like obviously, but when they hit the niggas can't wear the shit on their afros, I'm like y'all dead ass wrong. Y'all know damn that well. Don't nobody else got no fucking afros but black folks. Oh, so you can't wear a swimming cap no more? No swimming cap on your afro. They say if you're an elite swimmer, what you need it for? And I guess but can white people wear swimming cap? Yeah, but on they that on the afros though. I'm so fucking. Bro, I, I got. What it, makes it an afro? It, anything got, that anything to hinder us, bro. Definitely. Because who got afro? <laughs> <laughs> hey, but look, hey, but look, this the whole kill though. Y'all, y'all jumping down shorty throat. Y'all must, uh, everybody, uh, memory must be weak though. But we got an Olympian from Baltimore uh, who was smoking on that weed too. Definitely. My yeah, guy, my Michael guy. Phelps. Yeah, Michael Phelps was puffing on that head too. So, and this 2021, uh, if 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 Ricky Williams would have been playing football now, it wouldn't it wouldn't have been the same thing. It's too many people that's up in arms. That's like we. It's too much. Like niggas for that shit. You you in a legal state where it's legalized, but you can't use it. It's not. It's not a. It's not a performance enhancer. You don't. You don't. Is, is the weed gonna make her run faster? We make you sleepy. But you gotta think, should just let the girl run and see if she can smoke y'all off the smoke. But you gotta think about international. You know, bro. Hey, on, on some real shit though, bro. 
they they going they finding any reason to keep niggas out, bro. It, it, I I don't have to think nothing, bro, because like it's weed, bro. This this shit been on the earth before. All these people that can make rules, that's making rules, it's been here before them. It ain't killed not one person. <laughs> ain't nobody, nobody died from weed. That's for weed. Popped and caught them and killed them or some shit. Niggas don't die from weed. You gotta check the stats. Nobody died from what well, they they say it could kill you like uh, long term baby cancer and shit. Um, Alcohol kill you fast and you can go get that shit out of the store by the load. Overdose in one night. In one hour. Well, of the alcohol, oh, I, right? Yeah. You be done and you be done, son. Niggas get sick all the time, be thinking, oh yeah, I was just too drunk. That's how I was throwing up. Nah, that's your body rejecting poison, my nigga. <laughs> that's your body rejecting poison. They don't give a fuck though. I see big Bitcoin on the on a little sneaky climb back up too. You buy the dip, I say buy the dip, baby. Yeah, I seen I, as soon look as soon as I seen a bitch back up to thirty five, I thought about you. I was like, mm-hmm. niggas, niggas gotta know you gotta know you gotta hold them because I ain't gonna lie to you. I, I did lose some bread, but I ain't. I looked at it. I looked at it and know that's what come with this shit. I was like, oh, all right. Yeah, <laughs> bought that, some more. Like, I, what I, I bought, learned, I bought to keep. What I learned was I gotta diversify. But yeah, yeah. Cause it's cause everyone is not is not as volatile. Like they not like that. Like some of some of them on a steady climb, like a low key climb. You ain't even gonna see them. Right now, all the major trade. Uh, you got me talking about crypto. All the major trading jumps are, are pretty much mirrored to uh, Bitcoin. Though I've been um, Litecoin, Bitcoin it's very Cash. Traditional. They it's like link. If you look at that uh. The curve or the graph is like it follows the same path pretty much. Yeah, I mean that's because Bitcoin is the grandfather, right? It, it, it based, it, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of we're giving that shit value in it in itself for real, for real. People dumb though. That's because they don't understand the internet. But you know what's gonna really happen when 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 everybody that's in, that's investing with crypto now. This is a prediction. I'm not no financial advisor. It's not financial advice. But my prediction is. When it, crypto is more applicable to like you know like you can you can you can purchase with it more freely, and or is is required more like how you can't you can't mint anything without using Ethereum. When it becomes like that, that's when it, when it's really gonna go up in value and the, and the people gonna be behind again because you ain't gonna be able, you gotta think they talking about space. You ain't about to be able to make no bank deposit. They not about to be doing all that, bringing dollar bills to space. They gonna be using cryptocurrency. Yeah, I don't, think, I, don't, I don't think paper money is gonna uh, survive the transition of humans leaving this uh, this planet. I don't think that's something we'll take to another planet or yeah, nah. No, nah, it's not. It, it's gonna be cryptocurrency. It's gonna have to be something else that this this bitcoin shit on mars bro because mm-hmm. you gotta think with what currency here is supposed to be backed by it, it used to be our dollar used to be back backed by gold but now it's the it's the petrodollar so we we back by oil right so uh opec trades uh oil in us dollars so essentially um as long as that's happening you you everybody has to keep the dollar value at a certain amount you know what i mean so exactly like you said we're back by oil yeah yeah so hey but uh what you got for me qa i mean trust on everything i was gonna ask yeah i ain't gonna lie you know something let me see. Let me see. Cause I uh I have I have a screenshot of something so I can talk to y'all about this shit. I'm gonna wait for this shit right quick. Hey man, I ain't gonna lie, man. I don't know what, what folks are gonna do, but this next election, we really need to make a choice. 
What you mean? Rick need to make a choice because right now, like, who we got in the office, man? That shit weak, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. The reason I was I was not so like I was against Trump because of he was against me. You know what I'm saying? I was against him because he was against me. But the one thing about the nigga, the motherfucker damn show sure was 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 blatant about this shit. These motherfuckers, bro, like fuck this over so bad, bro. Like the fact that we still waiting on reparations, bro, or some of the shit that they say they gonna do, like this nigga Trump real live was just. He was letting his homies out. Bro, this nigga free Kodak. Like, if this nigga free Kodak, <laughs> what the fuck makes you think you can't and like implement some law and rule in to protect niggas, bro? Like, why is it that y'all know y'all? It, it, it's not even it, it, uh, of them saying like, oh, we gonna act like the past didn't happen. Like, yeah, y'all can act like the past didn't happen, or y'all not the ones that did it, but. Basically, y'all money is blood money. Some of y'all spending slave money. You know what I'm saying? Money from niggas owning property and real estate from the slavery days. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. y'all niggas did probably come over here poor, end up coming over here poor. I'm pretty sure everybody came over this motherfucker poor as a worker, but it ain't remained that way. Like, oh, a lot shit, of the, Jimmy, huh? A lot of the slave dollars and shit. <laughs> They, yeah, all that shit they, slaved off. Like they call the shit blood diamonds. Y'all fucking that's blood money y'all fucking spending right there. What happened to all the money in the property in the in the in the dealing from Tulsa when after y'all bombed that joint? Like y'all got a history. The history don't even go far back. We don't even gotta go as far back as Tulsa. Like in recent years, since like niggas' parents been alive, they didn't fucking drop bombs in Philadelphia. Like who'd have thought? Like, yeah. who'd have thought? Like, it ain't like, this It ain't no motherfucking, and, and, and I be, you would think that even as, like, Kamala Harris, dog, dog, you get that, you get a position like that in a time like this, you got one job. <laughs> you have one job. It, you have one job. Your people. <laughs> Niggas. You know what I'm saying? You got one job. That's it. Yeah, I mean, but not she not the president. Bro, you got enough platform to say something. You say something that shit gonna be on Fox on the on, on Fox News and on, on CNN. Like that, you know what I'm saying? Like you 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 can say something. You got followers too. You feel what I'm saying? You you got people that's following you too. It niggas, some motherfuckers ain't. It ain't. It this ain't. This shit. This shit is is internet and social media. This ain't. This politics ain't 1863 politics with niggas really running and really campaigning and really gathering the people like that. Nigga, this shit. This shit. This shit is popularity. Nigga, Joe wasn't even running that first. Niggas forgot he came out of nowhere and, and decided to run and then end up winning the shit. Right, that's what I'm saying. She trying to just play her position so she can get her spot. Because as the vice president, you normally are the Democratic nominee. That's what Joe Biden just did. Because he didn't, he let Hillary go. Look, he didn't run. Dick, he did, he, Dick Cheney ran this bitch for eight years. All right. Yeah. I ain't trying to do that. <laughs> Dick Cheney ran this bitch for eight years, man. Yeah. Eight years flat. Yeah. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie though. People be be talking about how corrupt these white dudes is though. But the stuff they do be putting America in position as a whole though, for real, for real. It be selfish, but if you get to get become part of that at least that is when you when your tax bracket change, my nigga, you get to reap some of the benefits of what be going on. Yeah. I'll definitely be making shit happen, man. But evil ass set up, but it's gonna be a fight. It's it's gonna be a power struggle in this country forever, man. <laughs> I think the it struggle don't is every person in the White yeah. House, the whole cabinet was black. It's still gonna be a power struggle. <laughs> Niggas evil. People evil as shit. 
I think the struggle is more is going to be always the, the people with the money and the people without. And I think that the yeah. trick is, the trick is though, they get you to think it's something else. Cause yeah, it's no, not a, definitely the haves and the have nots, man. That's always going to be it's going to be. That's why I say, like, if it's another civil war in this country, it'd be a, a, a war of the classes and not more so. It'd just be like the rich people didn't got too rich. It's like what nigga, somebody gonna realize eventually, like this nigga Elon Musk is a nigga, that's when a nigga, when a nigga get woke to Elon Musk is too rich, then you're gonna realize, like, all right, nigga, all right. But see, that's when it's gonna be that, that way. But now what you're talking about is socialism because what's too rich? Because in America, the, the ideal and the goal is everybody has the opportunity to get as Bro, rich when you as- getting money and, and when you getting money like how him and, and uh and Jeff Bezos getting money mm-hmm. and you paying less taxes than the working class person, my nigga, something ain't less, right. Less percentage. It's not less, less percentage. Right, but I'm saying, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, you basically getting spanked less, like, you get more of your money back. You see more of your bread. The, nigga, we get spanked. Right, but, so, the, the thing is, this for me, because I'm trying to get in that, if, if nothing holding us back from that, but knowing the difference in how to make the money, or how to make the money when you aren't getting spanked, you know what I'm saying? It's in the, in America, you you are rewarded more to invest than to work. Right. And the thing right. is, you got to get to you got to get to the position where you're able to invest instead of having to work. I mean, well, that's tricky though. That's still a tricky game in itself. So, I'm just saying that's a lot more knowledge. That's easier said than done because that take a lot more knowledge and know how. But that's the whole point. That's what I'm saying. It's not that the if if not that the game. It's like we playing Monopoly, but they got the rule book and we don't. We gotta figure it out by how they playing. You feel me? But they got the rules laid out for them. You do this, you do this, you put this here, you go do this, and then you flip it like that. You lead this to these people. You put this over here, you know what I'm saying? But we have to learn rules because the rules still in place for everybody. But like I would say, it's it's better to invest in the work. Hey, so they um they letting the uh the college players get paid for their likeness and shit, right? Yep. So here with a new slavery coming in, right? Yeah. Niggas not gonna be trademarking their shit. Ain't gonna be getting paid for shit, and the people that's paying them is gonna be owning their shit. What you mean? Who gonna who gonna be there to tell a nigga that when you when the nigga offer him a car and a hundred thousand dollars to endure something to 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 go up? Who who's gonna tell him to take that money and buy his trademark or already have his trademark before he even go and do business? I mean, I think it's more like so. A business is still a business. Like it, it's more like they can like if Alonzo Ball would have went to college, he could have sold big ball and brand. <laughs> but before but before he couldn't have done that. He can get paid to make appearances now. He could get paid to be on right. to take photos and shit now, but he couldn't do that before. You right. know what I mean? It it is it's I don't know, because you is you can be in uh, have an endorsement or you can start your own business to sell yourself the things you couldn't do before. Hey, yeah. That's what uh, Hersey Miller did, Master P, son. Signed yeah. a $2 million contract. Yeah. That's crazy. Hey, bro, when, when I see how... He, he nice, be, too. When I see how he... But, but how P be setting his kids up, bro, you gotta think. Um, Romeo went platinum at 12. That's what I'm saying. Learn the rules. And, and put that he, shit on he, repeat. He probably he practically funded his whole his college career and everything. He funded his own his own shit for real. And that, mm-hmm. and that song double platinum. He don't ever have to make another song again. He'll start hip hop for kids. 
Or the real put that shit over quick, man. Like the business that they into, the getting the kids in young now and, and having the young ass, young ass, young ass rappers, he he is a pioneer for that shit. Yeah. I think the whole family, man, they they very inspiring to me. Uh, I've definitely been a No Limit fan. Um, and, the, and his rebrand, Master P has mastered the rebrand or mastered the brand because he always on something. And what he talking about now, man, is very inspiring. Hello. Yeah, but yeah, so uh, yeah, Hersey, yeah, he definitely yeah, is nice too. He go, uh, he definitely putting that work in. I wonder what it's like to have a dad like that, like to be rich, but also be like, you know what, nigga, look, get position, position, position. Cause like a lot of niggas, a lot of niggas act like they don't want to listen to the old head. Like, how would you, how could you not listen to Master P? Like this is your day. How the fuck would you not listen to this nigga? I went and Googled all his kids. Like, like do this nigga got a kid that's not successful? Shit. <laughs> you would think it'd be like one nigga that's like, yeah, I'm in the streets, man. My father don't fuck with me. Like, nah, he's faking. <laughs> that's the PA like that. He cool. That's what it's about. This nigga this nigga right. Master Peter did everything. Man, this nigga that directed movies, been in movies, rap, played basketball. He had a fucking race car company. He had the sports agency. Uh, he was in real estate, real heavy. Um, shit, I'm motherfucking Master P. I think Master <laughs> P on motherfucking like uh, HGTV. They didn't even like. He wasn't a guest. Of Star, a star, nothing. But they were showing people buying houses and shit. And Master P was in that, but like, it was like million dollar listing. And he was like, "Yeah, I'm, I, I'm and playing. I could, I could come." Yeah, yeah. And that, then they interviewed him. He was like, "Yeah, I figure I could buy this for about two million. Put another uh, a half in it and flip it and sell it for about five. You know what I'm saying? Real quick. I was like, right. shit. And this motherfucker back in 2010 or some shit." 2009, I was like, oh shit, this nigga about to be out here getting it. So yeah, he always getting money. Right. He just already, already, he in position, they didn't even know what was about to happen. He just did. Yeah, because he wasn't a part of the show or nothing. <laughs> he just, he was about man, to buy motherfucker that motherfucker. He knew guy like that. Yeah, I fucked with You were hitting me? Yeah, we good. Yeah, man. So hey, my man. Get... Well, go ahead. Nah, I said this is a shout out to Master P. Shout out to Bill Cosby. Hey, hey, hey look, I was about to say something about Bill Cosby again too, right? Nigga, nigga, kid, Cuddy go into you like, yeah, niggas, niggas, idiots and shit. That, uh, they uh, happy Bill Cosby free type shit. Hey, nigga, fuck you. You weird as shit. They, <laughs> who? Who be making these niggas think they the gatekeepers or anything? Like, y'all are the ones that made all this weird shit cool in the first place. You know what I'm saying? Like, no funny. I ain't judging nobody or nothing. But, like, come on. The rappers with the, with the fingernail parts and shit. I'm like, y'all going too far now. That's cool. I, but, like. I need to. Again, I need ain't like it's a custom, ain't like it's a some play ass, like a custom clear coat. You know what I'm saying? Like nigga Snoop Dogg had the long pinky nail and he ain't even do the motherfucking, I'm a with fingernail polish on the motherfucking, get it designed like a leopard, like a female. Like what the fuck is you niggas doing? I'm just looking at niggas they, fingers. They, 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 exp they expressing themselves. I was just watching the video when the girl was like, I like a man who paints his fingernails. I was like, I, okay. But, uh, so that, that's some shit. Is that some shit that you would try? You know, like if you, if, if, your, if your lady was into that, you would do that too, like, you know, to me, entice her? Me, myself, I just do, nah, I really don't do stuff for other people. It's my appearance and shit. I, you know, uh, I'm cool. 
Yeah, now I'm saying yeah. though that I, I feel like that anybody gonna say that. Like I ain't about to, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm not. I'm like my girl. Like, oh yeah, you really want to turn me on? Get your nails done and put your finger in my ass. I'm like, yeah. Get your nails done and put your finger. That sounds like yeah. very specific, sir. <laughs> hey, bro, you, you know I freestyle rap, bro. You know I just be popping up with cool shit on the fly, man. <laughs> He said, that sounds that sound, that sound, that sound like the shit a nigga might have did before. <laughs> oh, nigga's funny as shit. He said, nah, that shit sound a little bit too, uh, too detailed. <laughs> That's the word niggas was looking for. Niggas be niggas. When a bitch asked me to do some shit like that, I'm gonna look at her sideways. I'm like, you, shit, if you want to, somebody with their nails done, call a bitch. Nah, because bitches be having the long ass nails. That's true. And she probably like, like, like no, I, I need, yeah, I need nigga nails. I need you to put your nails in my shit, in, in my cool I don't know, bro. You know, this new this new era, man, niggas die like that weird shit, you know what I'm saying? It's die like endorsed. And do your thing. Do your thing. I'm yeah, not saying no what's issue. right, what's wrong. Do your thing. Ain't nothing right or wrong. Like, I feel like if a person can have an opinion, then I should be able to have my opinion. I think that shit is weird. You know, do your thing. Yeah. But I think it's clever. Like Lil Yachty shit. I think that shit is clever. That nigga went and got his whole motherfucking... Uh, what he got a whole motherfucking uh, fingernail polish line coming out. I yeah, I'm saying look, if you like that, do your thing. No, I, I ain't gonna hold you though, cause look, I'm a clever nigga. Like I, I decided to sell some pancakes. Now, if I felt like I could get a dollar, I'll just sell it some fucking lipstick, my nigga. Tatted and rich, we'll have some hey, fucking tie-dye hey. lipstick. Hey, I'm, I'm look, not, no, listen, I'm not listen. Gonna, you need I'm to not going to wear this shit to endorse it, though. You, you, you can come out with a strong lipstick, you know what I'm saying? She left her lipstick on my pants or some shit, you know what I'm saying? They wrap it yeah, up. I mean, it, nah, it, it definitely would make perfect sense, but I'm going to just tell you this, bro. I'm not about to do that, bro. Man, ain't nothing wrong, wrong with selling to females, bro. I I I don't care about what nobody say. I I love female customers. They my favorite. I just love de- dealing with females. It's nothing wrong with catering to the females. No, listen, I don't. I ain't say that. I, look, I would I would come out with lingerie. You know what I'm saying? I, what's I wrong with lipstick? Kylie Jenner made a big a billion dollars. Ain't nothing wrong with lipstick. I, bruh, this is what I'm saying. I'm not going to come out with the lipstick and then be wearing the shit to sell it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, no. wearing it. Wearing it. Oh, no. What the yeah. fuck? No. Oh, come on, bro. I'm talking about you have three, four, five girls behind you with all the different colors on. You know what I'm saying? That's what you do. Look, we, look, you, look, look at you. We, we talking about this shit now. And, yeah. then, and like 20 episodes from this joint. We it's, we're gonna be talking. You gonna be like, oh yeah, what's up? Like episode like eighty something. You are gonna be like, oh yeah, hey, hey, it, man. I say you came out with the lipstick line. I'm like, oh yeah, I got the lip glosses coming soon next week. Yeah, like what the fuck? That's you know what I'm saying? Right? New pancakes and syrup and shit. Come out with my old my old drip and shit. Lip syrup on the lip. Call that shit lip syrup. Yeah, there's some syrup for your lips. Yeah, got you. sell the gloss as, as a little syrup. Come on, man. Yeah. What you talking about? This is syrup for your lips, baby. Have it in that little clear junk. You know what I mean? The different flavors and shit. Man, put it together. Hey, Q. I, I, I fail, baby. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. We're going to make this shit shake. We're going to make this shit shake, Q-Ways. We're going to you gotta come out with a lipstick laugh for him. <laughs> you got to find a motherfucker. We go. We gotta get this shit booming. We are gonna have to get back on all social media heavy. Brand new lipstick out. I ain't gonna lie, man. 
I ain't even gonna lie. That shit get a boom. If that shit was some shit, somebody was like, hey, man, I seen the episode, man. If you came out with some lift the guy about that shit, I'm like, oh, all right. <laughs> I mean, you gotta sell the, the exclusive limited edition, you know what I'm saying? Make it hard to get, you know what I'm saying? A couple, you know what I'm Put it together with some type of maybe a lyric mention or something, you know what I mean? Nah, I'm definitely gonna know. I'm definitely gonna know what to do as soon as they, as soon as somebody tell me they want some shit like that. I'm like, oh, yeah, bad, got you. And then, and then you know, as as they want this exclusive, then you can sell to the month. That's what Kylie did. They did limited launch. They had what a thousand packs or some shit at first. What? Rihanna, Rihanna did the same thing when she dropped Fenty. You couldn't get that shit everywhere. We got this much. You know what I mean? Hey. Everybody want to get it, man. Then now you can release it everywhere. Oh, that. I'm in this joint trying to design this t shirt while I'm doing this. I got some new shit about to come out, man. I showed your brother some shit I came up with. I got some new shit I, uh, that I'm coming up with. I was wearing that runaway blue last uh, 4th of July. Oh, man, get rid of that. I'm about to make some better shit, man. That was my first shirt. I got I got some shit coming. Oh, I'm definitely going to keep the first shit. Definitely got about. some shit coming. <laughs> yeah. I got some shit right now you that you would like for real, for real. Kind of sophisticated. Still, yeah, urban. You know what I'm saying? Drinking this my new I'm drinking this no. uh, uh this brown drink right now with uh blueberries and strawberries, so it's uh red, white, and brown for fourth of July. I call it a Juneteenth. Oh, you call it a Juneteenth? Mm-hmm. You made the drink up yourself? Yes, sir. Hey, you gotta get this shit cool. Get that in motion, get that it's recipe. It's red, motion. white, and brown. Call it June 10th. It's delicious. <laughs> Tastes Absolutely. Like apples. Tastes like apples. American is apple pie. Red, white, and brown. I call it June 10th. Yep. <laughs> I'm serious, though. Red, white, and brown. You say red, white, and brown. I call it June 10th. Yep. That sounds like some shit a rapper would say. Come on, man. <laughs> yeah, I forgot. I for- oh yeah, I forgot, oh, <laughs> I forgot you was a motherfucker. Uh, rap, man. <laughs> niggas, niggas are good. I, I'm saying it's red, red, blue, and brown, not red, white, red, blue. <laughs> what they red, yeah, red, brown, and white. <laughs> red, white, and blue. Red, blue, red, brown, and blue. This motherfucker, huh? I'm gonna see how much y'all like. Oh, yeah, I know what it is. This is my art. Ah, I can't do the color, man. What the hell it is? Y'all can probably see this. I can turn this bitch around. Y'all can see this? Live next. You guys do it, man. Yeah, y'all can't see it. So I, yeah, y'all see it. I'll just, I'll just make a demo shirt and let y'all see it today. Yeah, I got some new shit I'm working on, bro. This this shit been moving, bro. I ain't even gonna lie, man. I've been I've been so fortunate, man. I appreciate all the support from everybody. I got people that's been watching the podcast, and that's how they've been finding out about shit that's been going on. And, I really appreciate that shit, man. That shit cool as shit for us, for man. Like people really be sitting here and, and listening to this shit. They like, man, you funny as shit. Y'all be funny as shit on that joint. And your and your co-hosts, they be on that joint funny as shit too. I'm like, yeah, nigga, do definitely be bidding on this motherfucker, man. You definitely get the bidding on here for real. <laughs> this shit definitely. Say it again. I know I was laughing. And it was like, yeah, this shit definitely been a, a, a fucking experience, bro. Like, when I get back, like, I, I sit around sometimes, but I get hired up and go back and watch some of the episodes. 
I think I laughed more at the fact that I know, like, somebody approached me was like, you know, telling me about it. It's like, hey, in the beginning, they told me, like, in the beginning, you could tell you wasn't like, I was like, well, like, real comfortable. They was like, yeah, they like, now you just float. They was like, in the beginning, your little shit was stiff and scared and shit. <laughs> And usually I want to get rid of some shit like that, but this shit's so funny because it's like it's it's so organic, you know. I'm like, yo, y'all have no idea. Like the original first first journey, like the pilot, nigga, <laughs> nigga. I was scared. I want to ask. I think I was more scared of having people. I feel like people believe in me. You know what I'm saying? And then like like feeling like I might let somebody down if I can't see the shit through, you know what I'm saying? Like, this motherfucker is saying all that shit. You got all these ideas, you can't do that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, I was like, fuck, no, I gotta figure this shit out. I couldn't, I couldn't go like that. I was like, fuck that. This shit got easy along the way, man. But going back and watching that shit, man, we'd have had some funny people with this motherfucker, too. Yeah. We'd have some funny people with this motherfucker. We'd have some funny shit happened on this motherfucking show. Like, this motherfucker's been a journey this entire time. This shit been a fucking journey, man. Like, I done learned a lot, my damn self, fucking with this, you know I'm telling you that. I done learned a lot about myself. I done learned a lot about shit. I done, I done definitely, man, if you can't go on this motherfucker and figure out how to get your money straight, bro, because I know this is, this probably, like, the most like uh, the most like, you know, I, don't, I guess like resourceful, you know, shit that I do for myself during the week, as far as being able to share ideas with y'all, talk about money and shit like that. Nigga, I don't really be having this conversation with people because you, you can't go and build with everybody. You know what I'm saying? And the fact we do it on the podcast, it didn't let you know if a nigga fuck with you, they're going to receive the information because they're going to be listening and watching. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no hating ass nigga gonna sit on here long enough to learn something. If he do, then he really ain't no hating ass nigga. He just trying to act like a hating ass nigga. So, I definitely appreciate y'all for this motherfucking journey, though, man. This shit been crazy as hell, but mm-hmm. I, I, I would, like, one day, one day, we, once we sell this motherfucker, or we, we sell this joint to a corporation, we own the corporation, it's your own biggest shit, and I can talk my shit. I'm gonna talk about some of the funny ass times we've been on this motherfucking show because it's this shit. I was like, man, what the fuck is fuck? I already know what one episode you talking about. Hold on, hold on, my bad guy. <laughs> I already know. I was like, what the hell? Like, <laughs> my bad guy, that was fine. Good job. Yeah, like, no bullshit. Like, man, what the fuck, bro? Then, even, it's been other shit too, though. Like, it, it's been a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, just paying attention to the show and just watching it behind the scenes shit, man. This shit been y'all like, you know, this shit y'all like, it's just, it's, just been, it's just been revealing, to say the least. Yeah. Man, I'm trying, I'm trying to get this shit to the next level. I need Whole Foods to pick up these motherfucking vegan pancakes from That's the move. Pick yeah, I need Whole Foods. I need, I need Whole Foods to grab these motherfuckers. I'm trying to figure out. Don't worry. Listen, if you know somebody out there that got a store that, you know, I pay my way if I got... What, what, what you about got, the... Like, what about the place? Space, understand? What about the place that... um The place that... um on, um Minnesota. With love heart. With love heart. The little black on... Um, Love Heart is on there. She was telling us whether that she got it in the shop. Oh, nah, but the pancakes in there, though? Why not? It's black on everything. Uh, you can have a little a, a shelf right by the checkout. You have black on pancake. All right. Boot, a little stand. Stand on the mother. When they come down, when they come down to certain moves, when they come down to certain moves, I'm just saying, when they come down to certain moves, you got, uh, I'm going to have to adjust the pricing on stuff, and I don't really want to do that. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like, I don't really want to do that. I mean, I really could, though. I really could. If, it, if it's going to do something, I really could, because I can adjust it slightly, and it still be reasonable. But 
I, and this ain't really that, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get it where you can buy this motherfucker with that government money. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Because I'm thinking you're trying to sell boxes. To, to oh, no. Nah. Yeah, I'm trying to sell the brand. <laughs> I'm trying to sell the brand. Okay. But that, at this point, we build it. We will build them up. Build them up the way this, uh, uh, this is a little, uh, uh, oh, we turn half baked schemes into million dollar dreams straight up. <laughs> Fuck. I, feel I ain't gonna I I I lie to say you. that. I said I could actually just build a business and sell it. I feel so, you. I ain't, you know what I'm saying? What I, what I really look like trying to marry myself to an idea. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know, I understand what, what I need to own about what I gotta own. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause, cause, I, and I say that I say that because I, I see like when Jay Z, when Jay Z made it, did his deal, and he so uh half that shit the Hennessy. Mm-hmm. I, I would in my mind, I said, why the fuck would he do that? He talking all this ownership, then I think about it like you still own the shit. You just make a nun motherfucker go up with you and take basically take some liability. And, and, and have to still make the money, and you you gonna make the bread anyway on a deal, and they gonna have to work. Basically, they gonna be working hard as shit, and it's, the money gonna come in residually. Like shit, I'm like shit. I can do some shit like that. Fuck it. I'm gonna come up with an idea, some shit, go invest in some shit, and 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 make me some deals. You feel me? Like what else can I do? Like I watch Shark Tank. Niggas come on that motherfucker with a with a, with a it'd be a dumbass idea. It'd be the shit, the dumbass shit like the little little thing that be on the back of people's phone and shit. Be some shit like that. They come in there with that idea. They already got the packaging and shit. Then a nigga, oh, give me a two percent stake in the company, and I, uh, yeah, I'm trying to negotiate some shit like that. <laughs> That way I can go and do another idea like that. And this dude might not want to invest in this one, but this dude over here might want to invest in it. Now I'm booming like shit. You feel what I'm saying? Spending other people's money. I feel that. You feel me? Like I ain't, I ain't about to let no I ain't gonna let nobody trick me on my spot, but I'll be seeing how these how these folks get to their bread. It ain't even a, it ain't ever about being dishonest, but you gotta have good business ethics. I think that you sh- I think that you should have good be- business ethics, man. You can be whatever kind of person you want to be to get to your money. I ain't gonna tell you how to get to your bread, but if you if you pretty solid on the business side, you an honest person, you know how you know how to read the room because that's the most important thing. You know how to read who you're doing business with because some people. <clears throat> Some people just talk about the money, 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 and don't really see the bigger picture for real, for real. They don't really be seeing the bigger picture. The money don't always be, not that short money that they be trying to see off back. That don't be the money that you want for real. They be wanting that shit when, when they see they, they can pay a profit, they want that shit like that. They don't want to reinvest or nothing. I'm like, you got to flip all that. That's the one thing when I was out here, when I used to sell weed or whatever like that, man, I ain't even gonna hold you. Even with even when I do like when I'm doing the merchant shit or anything that I sell for that matter, man, I take all the money that's that's from ideas that that I had, which is essentially some free shit. If you ask me, it's like free weed, but I'm the plug. I grow the shit. So money from my ideas, I stack that shit up, take all the profits. Reinvest that shit. The whole shit. What the fuck I'm gonna go buy some shoes for? What the fuck the shoes gonna do? Step in some fucking gum? <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Like, I be shit. <coughs> hey, I was in there back open. What's up? Y'all wanna do something? Man, that shit wide open. Half, like, it's not even half the people got masks on. It's probably like a third. Oh, hey, listen, I'm I'm a punk because I walked in fucking Chipotle last night to get something to eat. Oh, oh, let me get my mask. Get in there and looking like oh, they ain't pressing niggas for mask no more. My my ass hit the took that bitch right the fuck up. I'm a punk though because I already didn't even want to wear that bitch and I'm all wearing my shit. They got me all programmed. I'm wild as shit, man. It's like the people got to the people don't have to wear them, but the employees do. But you know what is fair. I think that they should make employees wear that shit anyway. Like, 
you motherfuckers that, be now, having too much now, shit going on. Oh, now that that I agree with. Anybody who is know, serving bro, food, I thought that was a good idea. Like, that should be fucking required. Why yeah, they serving niggas food? Talking and shit, laughing, ha ha ha, flipping your burger and shit. That's why I don't be eating out for real. <laughs> no, that now that is a great fucking idea, and that may fucking greatly reduce fucking uh, disease. I'm, and I'm and about to write the CDC. Shit. I'm about to write that the is CDC. a I'm great a random email. email. Anybody who's handling or serving food is required to wear face covering at all times. Like, yeah, fuck? that can prevent a lot of this shit. Yeah, fuck that. And and it, it helped me be able to eat out because now I'm thinking that this nigga ain't laughing over my shit. Yeah, like, bro. Uh, I'm a, but you can't <laughs> like I'm telling you. I'm gonna tell you how crazy it is, bro. I don't even like the fact that. Like if you if you got if you dealing with like shit like you know a Chipotle when you got reach over shit I think that you know no funny they should make not kind of make them but they should provide them with shit that like sleeves and coverings you know what I'm saying like right I don't know, like I, in my mind I'm like this dead skin cells all kind of shit like man I don't need you doing this shit hair and shit you know some people we have a hairy ass arms I'm like man <laughs> yeah I feel they fucking use the spoon. And I really fuck. They should be using the spoon. Thing. Nah, they be like, using spoons and shit. Nah, and I, feel you. Like, you went, they, I, I don't they be like putting their elbow grease. I, I don't like people reaching over my food. Like if I'm if, if I'm at a restaurant and somebody and the way to reach over my food, I'm like, no funny. I'll be like, bitch, you've been in here all day, smiling and serving, sir, sweating like a motherfucker, in and out that kitchen, steam going through the temperatures, grabbing shit. You reaching over my fucking food. And I know you probably wore that shirt yesterday. Because I know how that motherfucking server grind go. So, the fuck? I, I really hate that shit, bro. I ain't gonna lie. You can't reach over my food, man. I do not like that shit. I'm telling you, if I see some shit dirty about a place, bro, I'm <laughs> off rip. I'm asking for my money back with no explanation. And you don't cop me nothing. I'm out of here. Fuck that. Give me my dough. And if I ain't exchange the bread, we out. Fuck that shit. One thing I don't do, man, I don't tolerate shitty service. And I think that's why I try to go so hard to provide good service to people. Because I don't, I don't like shitty service. Like, when I order shit, I don't like waiting a long time. You feel me? So, I don't, I, like, when people order shit from me, when that money hit my account, your shit is on the way. You know what I'm saying? Let out, you can reach me. You can talk to me. I solve problems. I don't. I hate shitty service, man. And I think that's the one. I think that's the problem that black people always try to, or the excuse black people try to give themselves for not supporting other black businesses or black businesses. Periods, like man, because when you can't go in there, the motherfucker, the white people, they nice. Well, no, they not. They be wild and shit too. You know that. You didn't complain what, about their ass too. What kind of people find the pancakes? Huh? The pancakes, uh, yeah. they can DM tatted and rich. I'm about to get, I'm about to set a little website up for them joints, man. Them joints, y'all like did good the first week out. It, this shit was like a little fire mixtape. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> the motherfuckers was going like a mixtape. But if you uh, if you purchase a bag, you get a you get a copy of the mixtape, two mixtapes. Oh hell yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You get a copy of it for uh you pay twelve dollars, you know what I'm saying? Get you two two mixtapes for the for the F. You know what I'm saying? Niggas own everything, so I get paid for them streams too. When you go and do that, you looking out for a soda, so go ahead. While you making the pancakes, play hippies and pancakes and you know what I'm saying? Vibe the fuck out, flip your flip your pancakes. I make waffles out of them too. Right. That motherfucking syrup, bro. Oh my goodness, that shit sold out, bro. You heard? Me? Hey, you probably hit me with the pack. But I ain't even gonna lie, that shit. I got. I'm about to hit her though for a fresh batch, though. I ain't even gonna lie to you, bro. She got me. But that first, that first shit, that shit went. That shit went crazy, bro. That I'm shit excited. went crazy. Bro. I'm that excited. shit. Went. Yeah, I, I want uh I want to see if I mean we're gonna talk business, but maybe we gonna maybe we I wanna expand this shit a little bit, like just try some different shit. 
and see what we want to do with this shit. Cause this shit definitely got like a good response from it for real, for real. I'm that's why I said I'm trying to get it in the school, but <laughs> right. But that's why I'm. I'm. How are we trying to get it in the school? I don't know. I, you know, I, I can find a like. I want to find like a mom and pop for real, for real. What that? All right, yeah, we got to talk. Cause I feel like I can work out a better, better situation. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I, I say all these wholesale for this. Y'all keep this all the shit. Then my shit gonna move off the shelves. You feel me? Uh, yeah. I mean, right. cause I basically use they shit as real estate. Like buy real estate from them, they shelf space. What they gonna do when they make it? They gonna make money. They gonna get the load. Either they are gonna buy it up front or or the back end. They take a percentage. If they if they get the back end money, they are gonna have to just take a you know x amount of dollars off of this. But if they pay for them up front, they get just get a fair price for a whole lot. Right, that's what I'm saying. You sell them by the box. You get a the box per box price. You got a recommended uh, retail price. You know what I mean? It's like, all right, you selling for this. I'm selling to you for this. You selling for this. They gonna sell. You, you know what? You know what I can do this at what? tobacco shops, twenty four hour jumps. Hell yeah, my fucking um, the my fucking two way in breakfast. All the way branding, no, all the way branding. Period. This is what it is. I, uh. Niggas can't do the infuse that way though. We ain't gonna be able to move that infuse like that. But I think we about to go. I'm, you know, I I know how to do the butter and shit. So I think I'm about to go ahead and drop the butter. The last time I did this shit. Last time I did this shit was finito. It's probably about like a half a pound or something to cook that shit up. Drop something on the people. I don't know. You, you mean, never. Man? You never know. Hey, but what y'all got planned for the rest of the day? Man, we got. I'm at work. I'm working right now. Well, I was working. Work, work, yeah, work, work. Yeah, I got fucking fill these orders. I got like one, one, maybe two or three orders to fill. I need to get a nap in before I go to work. It's already two twenty. Yeah, I need some freaking rest. I ain't been asleep yet. I've been up since last night. <laughs> I do this shit every Saturday. I can't wait till I get these Saturdays off, man. This shit wicked. <laughs> Did they give you holiday on Monday? Oh. Nah, I ain't off, but I get I get a bonus for that shit. Yeah, that's what's up. I get a little holiday bonus for that shit. Fucking about to pay a bill with that shit though. I ain't gonna hold you. <laughs> I be loving you. Give me a bonus. Oh, that's going to the bills, nigga. I'm about to spend this check on me. <laughs> Give me the bonus. That motherfucker going to want some shit. I don't even owe yet. I don't give a fuck. That shit. I'm gonna put that shit on some credit card. Some shit. Hey man, what, what's the process uh, before we uh, end this episode? Right, what's, what's like the process for getting a business uh, bank account? Like how uh, how easy is the process? It, uh, you just need your papers, you need your articles of or corporation, your letter of good faith, um, and that's pretty much it. Some money to put in the bank, uh, your ID. Um, you walk into the bank. Um, just like signing a normal bank account, you're going to see a banker, they're going to sit you down, you're going to sign up, um, present your documentation. Um, it's best just to call the branch that you plan to go to, ask them exactly what you need, but it's going to be your articles of incorporation, your, um, your EIN, uh, your letter of good standing, um, bring all that down to, you know, the, um, your business agreement, depending on what type of business you have, um, that, you know, that you are legally able to sign for this business. You know what I mean? And walk in, put the money in, 
You you in business. Yeah, it's time to start making some moves, man. I'm about to go ahead and uh, look in the Toro a little bit more, too. Yeah, but definitely you got the business put. So that's like, I'm a, I'm looking to, um, for a nonprofit, starting to, uh, um, that we help businesses become businesses. So like, we help set up your website help make sure you have an EIN you have a business bank account stuff like niggas that about be, niggas about to be legal then. yeah nah I mean it's it's more but it's like a it's a non-profit though you know what I'm saying yeah yeah legal, nah, nah. Legal, yeah legal zone they you know but you we talk man right? you know yeah we, we raise some raise some money and spend put it to good use mm. No, I was looking at, uh, I had a non-profit I did, bro. This young guy, like, it was young, like, yeah. I've I been had this idea, though. I think we, I might have talked about this. I might have talked about this on the Soft 30 when I was in a drink. I don't know. I, I know we had, a, oh, maybe when I was just there after that episode, we might have had a conversation or something. But I remember, like, having a conversation about what I want to do at a uh, fucking Nonprofit doing. But yeah. What's this episode 68 of Hippies and Pancakes? Yep. Oh man, it's been real, man. I'll give me some rest. Hey QHD, I appreciate y'all as usual, man. Let me call this one wrap.